Hey, how you doing? Dan here. And you know, when people find out that I've lived and worked in Antarctica, they always have a bunch of questions for me. You know, one of the questions is, is it cold down there? And how cold is it? Also, then they ask, what do you eat down there? Do you eat penguins? But by far, the biggest question that everybody asks is, where does the poop go? Cold? Well, yes, it does get cold. Damn cold. And as you can tell by this picture, when the wind is blowing, it gets really cold. In this picture, it's, grow it's, it's blowing about, about 50 or 60 miles per hour. Something you don't want to be out in too much. Penguins? No. We don't eat penguins down there, although we see a lot of them. No, we eat normal food. We eat really good, actually, but we have a chef down there who cooks all kinds of food for all the types of people that are down there. Vegetarians, uh, lacto-intolerant. For me, I'm a pretty basic eater, so I eat pretty much what they put on my plate, and what they put on my plate is usually pretty good. So, where does the poop go? Well, it goes the same place that it's gone for the last, since 1965 when the station was built. It basically goes right into the ocean. All the sinks and drains go to the same place. The toilets, everything. It goes into a big garbage disposal, if you will, a macerator, through a pipe, and then it just drops into the ocean. Here you can see the pipe. It's above water, so you can see everything coming out of it. It is a little bit disconcerting sometimes, but it does come out of there in a fine mass. And I'll give you another little secret. It comes out right next to where we do the polar plunge and jump off of the pier. I know. Ew. But that's the pipe it comes out of and just the way it is. So now you know where the poop goes. <laughs>